Ireland was the first country in Europe to exit the EU IMF bailout at the end of last year after enduring several years under brutal austerity programs. The country's economy finally showing signs of recovery. Lorda Sexton reports. Ireland's unemployment rate hit a high of 15.1% in February 2012. Fast forward two years and unemployment at the end of May now stands at 11.8%. While unemployment has fallen for eight consecutive quarters, official figures for the first quarter of this year fall short of economists' forecasts. Yet analysts remain upbeat about the recovery. We're seeing improved employment, investment activity right across the economy in both the indigenous economy, the consumer economy and the export economy. And the, most, the more recent indicators we have, even since the first quarter of the year, such as income tax returns on the number of people claiming unemployment benefit, would show that we've made further progress again in terms of putting people back to work. In the first quarter of this year, 42,700 more people had a job in Ireland, compared to the same period a year ago. Small and medium businesses are the ones that are going to create the jobs more so than the foreign direct investment coming in, but it'll be in twos and threes and fours. So it's small numbers, but over 200,000 businesses, we can create those jobs. Economists here say that part of the slowdown in employment growth in the first quarter of this year may be due to a decrease in the number of part-time jobs, but say that this is overall a positive thing if you couple it with the much needed increase in full-time employment by 3.3%. Lourdes Sexton, CCTV, Dublin.